here at the first Wednesday <laughs> of um, 2011. It's a pretty big day, you know. I don't know. I didn't know I was going to start this because I didn't even really know. And I'm kind of like ignorant sometimes when it comes to like important matters. Like, did you know that today is the 112th beginning of Congress? Did you know that it was today? Yeah. See, then I'm not alone. I love the company. The company. I, well, today is. So welcome to the Congress, Congress. And it's, Hi, um, Congress. Yeah. It's, We're very proud it's, of you. It's the 112th Congress today. And the reason I know is because my beloved All My Children got preempted at the end. They didn't show it. And you know, today in history, today, yes. January 5th, it is the anniversary of All My Children. <gasps> so, you know, how... Dare that Congress. Is it sadder that I was more excited about all my children than the Congress thing? No, because that's, that's <laughs> me too. I, I love, uh-oh, this internet. Don't do it to me today, internet. Be nice. All right, but yes, today happens to be the anniversary of all my children. It started in 1970. So this is like a big anniversary. This, this is a big deal for me because All My Children was very much a part of the fabric of my childhood. I love All My Children. I watched a little today, obviously, and then the government took it over, <sighs> as you usual. Know. Exactly. It's a conspiracy. Uh, well, you the know, and it's very that. Republican right now. Um, All My they, Children is? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, this is Colette, the who of the day, and um, she's right on the wavelength here. Right yeah, now. I, mean, I, I don't follow politics. I don't yeah, either. Even I know that I should, because we're in very should. Should is a dangerous yeah. word. It's 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 a very dangerous word. Uh, but what else is it's today? It's hard to spell too. Uh, today, yeah. But today, let's look at today's big hits of of exciting things. Nighttime with Ted Koppel extended from twenty minutes to thirty minutes. Did you ever know of a twenty minute television show? Ted Koppel. Oh. He, they only gave him twenty minutes when he started, and um. And then he got 30 on this day in history, January 5th. Um, what else is, Bobozo the Clown had his show premiere on this day in history. I was on Bozo. You were? I was, yeah. It took like oh 10 years God. to get the tickets. It took forever. Um, I played musical Beanbag. Holy God, today is the anniversary of Bozo the Clown. Oh, I love Bozo the Clown. And the part where like I oh didn't God. catch the Beanbag and I dropped it, I was like, I must have been like 10 and I was like, shit. Okay, are we oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Were you allowed on Bozo? And there is this close up of my face, like swearing. And I was like, you, know, like, you think someone could find it? I don't know. That was a long ass. Oh, that's long hilarious. Ass. Well, Bozo, it's amazing you're here on this day. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, it's also the day that Pepe Le Pew debuted on, um, as a cartoon, as Odor Able Kitty. In 1945. Odor Evil Kitty? Odor, that was his original Odor name. Odor Evil Kitty. Um, well, it was Pepe Le Pew. Maybe that was the cartoon he debuted in. Oh, like Odor Evil, like adorable. Uh, yeah, like Odor, Odor Evil. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Now that I, see yeah. I love Pepe Le Pew. Nice. He's like one of the I cutest cartoons there is. Um, what else happened on this big giant day? Elvis Presley recorded Heartbreak Hotel on this day in history. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Benjamin Spock. You know, everybody believed in Dr. Spock, right? He was indicted for conspiring to violate the draft law. Look at that. Dr. Nice. Spock. That gives him <laughs> kind of credibility, right? I know. Wasn't, isn't he the baby doctor? Um genius that everybody reads Dr. Spock. I never did. Maybe I'm missing something, but um, I don't know. Um, it's also the day that it is Bradley Cooper's birthday. Um, do you know who Bradley Cooper is? He's a heartthrob for a lot of young girls in this world right now. And I saw him making a movie in Union Square. And, I feel like um, I know nothing today. And I, was, I, 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 I also, I know more about my kids, when I said, oh, it was some guy named Bradley Cooper, they were like, what? Oh my God! They were like, and you didn't text me. They like ran. Who is? Who is? He's this? like a hot commodity these days. But who is he? What does he do? The do Hangover. You? The Hangover. Oh. He's like the weird, like the kind of see, movie. see, he. Oh, okay. And he's in a lot of movies. Like he's in that group, I guess, with those guys. Is he one of them? Those. Yes. 
you know. Wait, which one is he? The one that was supposed to get married? The Hangover. Oh, the, the guy who had the sunglasses with like the kind of goatee thing the going, sunglasses. slightly long hair, but not all the He's oh, cute. Okay. He's a cute yeah. guy. He's He's cute. Happy birthday, Bradley Cooper. Happy it's also, birthday. but it's Marilyn Manson's birthday. Oh, now you know who that is. You really like Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Now I saw was him he on Bozo the with Limelight. You? No. Uh. I saw him play at the Limelight like years before he got really big and famous. And back then he was legitimately scary. Like he, him and Twiggy would like kick their fans in the head that would like oh. try to jump on stage. I had nightmares about him for months. Really? Yeah, like I thought he was Satan for real. Nah. And then he became all glam. He, he was a lot more um, scary when he was underground. Right, I guess he sold out. He did. Uh, yeah, he'll be in Congress one day. I vote for Marilyn. He's Manson. a brilliant guy. He's actually. a brilliant yeah. guy. Do you know that on this day and time, January 5th, the New York City transit fare rose from 30 cents to 35 cents? <sighs> And it just rose to two fifty. I know. And just like, no, they're really Not only did it rise to two fifty, which is annoying in itself, but when you get that little bonus for the ten bucks or twenty yeah. bucks, that kind of went down. I oh, had to get a Metro card yesterday, but... and I'm like doing the ten dollar thing, and it's like bonus seventy cents. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm getting a bike. I'm over Oh, that. I haven't bought an unlimited in years. Yeah. I can't afford an unlimited anymore. Boo to that MTA. Yeah, thirty five cents. Yeah. It went to on this day, January fifth, nineteen seventy two. That doesn't sound that long ago that it went thirty five cents to two fifty. What kind of inflation? Any that's mathematicians that. here? That's somewhere around ninety. That's a maybe. lot. That's that's a lot of percentage. Yeah. So anyhow, on that note, who else birthdays? Pamela Sue Martin. Now, do you know who she is? I used to want to be Pamela Sue Martin. She was Fallon Carrington on Dynasty. Oh. And I, she was like my favorite person on Dynasty. I once went to Atlantic City and I kept saying my name was Fallon. And I won so much money. I won, I went in on a ten, one of those buses where you get like $10 and quarters and you do the, I came home in a cab. Do you want to go to Atlantic City? I don't. Do I don't. I don't. Okay. I did it once. I never did it again. Time, it was a, my first time. time to make me like it, and I was Fallon Carrington, and then I never was again, and I never won like that again. Oh. Plus, I'm going to London tonight. You? You what? I am, and we're, we're going to do a ruin who in London. Oh my and, god! Yeah. yeah. On January 10th, and um, this is the first one of the year in autos. Our beloved auto shrunken head, of course. And then I'll be back for next week here. But I have like a bunch of London stuff in between. And um, so maybe Atlantic City. There? Yeah, I have a gig tomorrow night. Oh and, my God, look at and you. And Sunday. So January 6th, 9th, and then Ruin Who is on the 10th. And hey. it just happened oh, like that. My so daughter tired. is going to be going to school there. So I got the excuse of bringing her over, which I'm so lucky. Aww. She's going to study at Lambda. The, very fancy Wait, academy. Like Lambda, but in London? La yeah. I went yeah. to the London American Museum. Yeah, 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 yeah. I studied at Lambda. Wow. On Street. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah she's going to Lambda. Sweet. Oh, so you, yeah, yeah, she's going for a semester. Musical theater? Or? Yeah, the theater. She's okay. learning Shakespeare. She has to get Sweet. a Shakespeare skirt. Did you what the hell is that? I don't know, but we'll find out. We're going to be right back. Um, very soon with Colette. But before we go, I just have to say the angels in the room. Um, Tug McGraw passed away on this day, and um, I never knew that Tim McGraw was his son. And did you know that? So Tug McGraw, if you're in the room, but the, but the big, big one, because it is Congress today, Tip O'Neill died on this day, and he was a big congressman. So I guess he's in the Congress right now, their angel. They might need him more than us. But Sonny Bono rammed into that goddamn Aww. fucking tree on this day, Aww. January 5th. So Sonny Bono... I got you, babe. We want you in our little room today, so please be the angel of Ruin Who today. Sonny Bono. I love Sonny and Cher. Together, apart. Who cares? You know, he was a politician, too. Yes, he was. Right. Yes, he was. So, you know, Sonny, I guess you're in Congress, and I hope you're here, and we will return very soon with some guests on the first... Mm -hmm.